Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Black, clinical psychologist and founder and president of Cortico. Law enforcement officers, firefighters and EMTs, dispatchers and correctional professionals are absolutely some of the most resilient and toughest people that I know. But I've also seen firsthand how the effects of devotion to helping others can build up over time. And left untreated, these effects can produce dangerous mental health problems, such as substance abuse, thoughts of suicide, depression, hypervigilance, anxiety, the list goes on and on. But there is a barrier, a barrier that unfortunately prevents many first responders from ever getting help. Nearly 90%, 90% of firefighters and law enforcement officers nationwide report that there is a cultural stigma in their agencies against asking for help. More than 80% fear that they will somehow be seen as weak or unfit for duty, and many fear that they may be putting their jobs at risk if they ask for mental health assistance. All of this underscores the absolutely critical need to provide confidential, anonymous wellness support to our public safety personnel. First responders must trust that they can access resources in a completely confidential manner that will not have an impact on their careers. This sounds simple, so why has it typically not been the case? First, standard employee assistance programs offered through agencies or municipalities are often not completely confidential. Second, some well-meaning leaders have resisted confidentiality, arguing that they need to document service usage in order to budget properly and identify potential trends. Fortunately, today's technology allows us to deliver both anonymity to the individual first responder within the app and aggregate usage statistics to the administrator without ever identifying any individuals. That same technology also allows us to put highly relevant resources directly into the hands of our personnel, no EAP required. Progressive leaders around the country are working to erase the stigma around mental health issues and public safety. That's why I so look forward to the day when our nation's heroes have no reason to be afraid to ask for mental health assistance. Until then, however, I urge the leaders of all public safety agencies to provide confidential, instantly accessible mental health resources. It is simply the least that we can do. Until next time, please take care, and thank you so much for all you do to keep your communities safe.